Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome to Wellness Wednesday. So just gonna try to keep it short, just kind of go over a few things that I've been doing to try to help me on my wellness journey, which is physical strength, um, not so much weight loss, but physical strength. I mean, I'd be happy if I lost a little bit of weight, but it's not a priority of mine. To me, it's, it's some core strength that's um, getting some stress out of my life or maybe handling the stress better and lowering my blood pressure again and just doing things like that because yeah it's, it's important to try to take care of yourselves and I know you know I used to feel guilty if I wanted to do something like that for myself you know I, you know I was taking care of Rick for so long and you know I just felt like I needed to be there I was working whether I was working in the house or before it got to that point, you know, I was working out of the office, but when I came home, you know, I just felt like I needed to be there. I needed to just be there for him and didn't really give myself much of a second thought. And, um, you know, and I think it, it took it, it, it took a toll on me. And, um, and I think I probably could have handled taking better care of him too, had I taken better care of myself. So, um, no matter what it is, whether you're taking care of your little ones at home or you're taking care of, you know, maybe you've got some ill or some elderly parents or grandparents that you're taking care of or, or your spouse or whatever, it is important to put yourself first. And, you know, so that's really always important. So I hope everybody remembers that. And as much as you feel guilty for maybe taking a 15 minute uh, shower instead of a five minute shower, it's you need to do whatever it is for you just to to have some me time some quality time and so for me it's been different things um you know i got into doing the face mask and so that's kind of like a me time too it's just kind of relaxing and i haven't uh, been filming my mask mondays just because i'm so far behind um so i've been using that time that i'm sitting there with my mask on to reply to other people's comments and i'm actually trying to do a couple more masks during the week so while i'm having a nice relaxing bubble bath i've got my mask on my eye mask on and i'm just kind of relaxing there and just just some me time um i've been reading reading again so that's really really good and um, you know i'm not being able to read a couple hours at a time but for me it's like at the end of the night when i go to bed i pick up the book and you know maybe read for 15 20 minutes as you see i'm kind of moving slow along but I don't want to get myself too hooked up in the book and I know sometimes that's going to be hard when you got a really good book but I also want to try to have lights off and be sleeping by 1 32 o'clock so that's kind of my my goal I probably get between four and five hours sleep a night um, sometimes on the weekends it ends up being more but a lot of times I don't go to bed till like seven in the morning on the weekends because yeah I, I don't have anything else I'm doing and um so um, for me, it's trying to get some better sleep, some quality sleep. And so for me, that for me, that's kind of relaxing. So when I go to bed, I'll, I'll just read, read for maybe half hour, maybe 20 minutes or so, just to try to just kind of de-stress at the end of the day. Um, I'm getting into some exercise wear and uh, trying to fit some more exercise in. And, um, you know, I'm still doing the elliptical, my under desk elliptical at work. And I actually turned the um, tension up again today. So um, I wanted to work more on muscles than cardio. When I go back and forth, sometimes I'll have it really light. So I'm pedaling faster and doing more cardio. And other times I said, oh, I feel like I need to do some more muscles in my legs so I'll put the tension up so I'm I'm going at a slower pace but I feel like I you can really feel that in your legs and your back end and um, today before I left work because of course everyone was left had already left and I was going around making sure the doors were locked and I said hmm no one's around I already locked the front door and I did like 10 laps uh, cross between walking and running around the back warehouse because all the machines are gone all the castrol because we had a full truck load of castrol in so all that was put away the robot shipped out so it was all this empty space back there and so that felt really good i was running for a little bit and doing some homework and just uh, yes that felt good just kind of doing that for a little bit so that got a little bit more exercise in some more steps in and um and for me too okay so the exercise wear so she gets you i've got two packages behind me 
and one is for my the month of March so mine ships out uh, because I signed up so late um, maybe that maybe does make a difference but mine ships on the 23rd so I wanted to do that one first because I don't know how often they change out their outfits and so the one that I've gotten here I'm really looking forward to getting it and um, so I just want to kind of get that posted um, doing a, a Miss Ellie unboxing with it and then I'll probably put it at the end of this too just the the uh, try on to show you that and then I got another bag on the other side of me and that was kind of like a sneak peek for April that they came up with and it's um it's a camo and I thought this camo is really cute this might sell out before the 23rd next month and I won't be able to get it so I pre-ordered that and it came in. I thought maybe they wouldn't ship it for a while and some things that they had on sale on their as if section. So what's the as if section? Just the extras they call it or add-ons or something. So got some of those in. So I'll try to get those squeezed in. And then the last thing that I'm doing for some stress releases is getting back to work on my Erin Condren planner, which I, I use more like a memory book. Um, has a little bit of planning in it but I use some pictures from the past sometimes pictures from the present and then different kits that they have out there just to kind of make it colorful and fun and for me it's kind of like a chance to be a little bit creative and um, I'll show you how a, what a blank page looks like in, in my and I know they have like vertical ones but mine is horizontal um, I keep thinking I want to switch but I don't know how to do it so anyway so this is what the pages look like right and then I get different kits that I buy and just different pictures. Um, this I've just got a couple of pictures in and I used a St. Patrick's Day kit. So it just kind of keeps it light and fun. And um, just gonna off to the side, I'll put down what my steps were on the elliptical, how many hours I worked on it and uh, how many miles I got in. And then at the bottom, here, I'll put uh, my weight in and out for the week, what my Fitbit steps were, and my totals on the elliptical. So that week I had 106,385 steps. I had pedaled for 20.51 hours while I was at work, and I did 34.71 miles. So that to me, it's really keeping my metabolism up, but then just, you know, kind of doing this um, here and there during the week, it just kind of gives me a little bit of creativity, a little bit of fun. And I love looking across the pictures at, at our kids and our, our grandchildren. It's just a lot of fun for me. So anyway, that's, that's about it for my Wellness Wednesday. So yeah, I want to thank you all for joining me and I wish you well on your goals. And I look forward to uh, just kind of supporting each other as we try to meet whatever wellness goals we're going for. So talk to you soon, everybody. Hope you have a great week. Bye-bye.